Hi everyone, uh, this is test 6. So we're going to start this test 6, section 3, okay? All right, here you go. Number 1, 10x minus 5 is a. What is the value of 2x minus 1? When you take a over here, when you divide by 5, you get what 2x minus 1 directly. So a over 5. Okay? That's right. So choice B is the answer. Okay? Alright, number 2. College typing are trying to get it safe for town summer working tour. Okay, so she started her exercise by working on threadmill for 20 minutes per day. Per day, 20 minutes. And the second day, five minutes more. The so next day is about 25, something like this. Maybe third day is about 30, okay? So we have a 20 day. So what is the this value of y? So you can make a table of here. Maybe you can use this is x, this is y. How can you find this one? You can use, because this is increased by five, okay? So that is linear. So between any two points, right, the constant the slope. The slope is about 5 over 1 over here, okay? Slope is 5. You can use this one too, or you can find this one too. y minus 20 over 20 minus 1. That is equals to 5. Okay? You can choose any point, okay? These two points is okay. So this is a 19. 5 times 19 is what? 95. After that, plus 20, y equals 95 plus 20 equals 150, okay? So is the, is the answer. Number three, less than three. This is a positive, always what? Between two points, positive one, negative three. That's the formula, okay? So you can add both sides. Okay, step by step is okay. A is less than four, but greater than negative two. So, negative 2 and 4 here. This is solution set. But how many integers, okay, in this interval? So, negative 2. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? We have a 5 integers, okay, satisfied the inequality, okay? So, it's easy to answer. All right, move on number 4 here. So, we have the line. Which of the following could represent the graph of the line L? Maybe mm, the best way is what you can change into quickly right slope intercept form. Okay? This is y equals how much? x plus 2. Right? This slope is positive, not working. This is y equals what? Negative x plus 2. Slope is negative. Y intercept is positive. That's true. Okay? Alright. Well, you can use the Y intercept form too. For example, this one. X plus Y equals 2 when you divide by 2. X over 2 plus Y over 2 equals 1. This is we said intercept form. This is X intercept. This is Y intercept. X intercept is 2 over here and Y intercept is 2 over here, okay? But that's true too. Alright, number 5. We have a graph of F. Uh, which of the following are equal to 2? With this 2? F of negative 2 over here. Negative 2. Yeah, the height is 2. That's true. It is 2. F of 1, this was F of 1, that is negative 2, right? But absolute value is still 2. This is true. When x is 4.7, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4.7 around over here. It's here, positive 2, right? That is working. Okay, from here all the way to the right, they are always what? Uh, 2, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, they are all correct. Number 6. X is positive, which of the following equivalent? 
You know this is 15 over 3, okay? That is x to the pips. The next is x to the what? 8 over 2 is 4. Okay, so x to the what? 5 plus 4 is 9. That is the simplest form, okay? Right, number 7. We have a frequency table, junior, senior, and the other way, well, physics and statistics. Okay, you can read over here. That's right. So according to the table, what is the number of juniors who take statistics? Junior statistics, this numbers. Okay, figure out this is about 300, 180, this will be 120. Okay, this is 20. Is okay? Yeah, that is 20 is the answer. All right, number eight, what percent of juniors is taking statistics? Out of juniors, over here, 100. This is, we say, conditional probability, okay? So, out, this is not sample space, go out of this number, okay? 20 out of 100 is 20%, okay? <clears throat> All right, which of the following data set appears to have a small standard deviation? You know standard deviation, okay? the average distance from the mean, okay? Okay, standards, smallest standards, they stuck together, okay? Because it, this is average is 2.5, every point by uh, 0.5 away, to the left 0.5 away, okay? You can use the absolute value too, okay? But this one is what, average over here, that is what, 0.5 away is okay, but this one is what, 1.5 away, a lot. That standard is what? Big, getting, getting big, okay? So choice C is the answer, okay? They are all there as a C together right to this mean, okay? The distance is just small. Every point is just distance is the smallest one, okay? All right, number 10. What is the solution for the equation above? We have right possible answer there. You don't have to solve this in this case. Okay, just check out the negative one is working. Put this negative one, that is negative one plus ten is this one, negative one minus two. This is three, this is a negative three, that is not solutions. This is not solutions. What about six? Six plus ten is what? Four. That is equal to six minus two is four, right? That is true. Okay, so choice B is the answer. Okay. You don't have to solve this one, okay? If, when you solve this one, you get what two answers up here. Negative one and six, but you have to check it again. Okay, because the domain is restricted. Uh, this number, this number principal square root must be greater than or equal to zero, okay? When x is negative, that is negative three is not greater than zero. That is not working. You have to check it again, okay? So check all this given number, okay? All right, this is number 11. The equation is true for all value of x. What that means, these two expressions are equal, right? Because when you have 2x plus 1, another graph is 2x plus 1. It's going to have the right, same graph, OK? That is overlap, isn't it? Error, this I'm going to y1 equal y2. OK, the line is uh, equals. There are many infinite solutions there, okay? This is, we say, coincident. This is the equation, okay? When you make a solve this one, you can let this be equal. You see up here? Left inside, right inside expression must be equal, okay? All right. So this side, this side expression should be equal, okay? So you're going to check it out. But this is many like terms there. I want this x minus 1, x minus 2 is about x squared minus negative 1x, negative 2x is a negative 3x, and plus 2 plus a x plus b. Simplify one more time, so here. x squared plus, this one is a minus 3, okay? a minus 3x, and plus b plus 2. This is, a, I'm going to write that one more time. Okay, coincident expressions are equals. So a minus 3. a minus 3 should be equals to negative 4. And uh, b plus 2 equals to 5. Okay, from here, a equals to how much? Negative 1, b equals what? 3, right? So choice C is the answer, okay? <clears throat> All right, this one is uh, factory. 
you know the right difference was two squares. This is actually one over nine square, right? So x square minus one over nine. The other one is x square plus one over nine. Okay, the product will conjugate. But still, this is also a difference of two squares. One nine is one third square. Okay, this is one third square. So x plus one third x minus one third and x squared plus one nine. Okay, we already answered this one, right? Choice D is a complete factor of four. All right, number thirteen. What is the sum of the solutions of the equation above? When you divide by four b, so we got this one: x squared minus five x minus four equals zero. But this is not factorable. Okay. So we cannot factor, then we have to use the Bieta's formula. You understand the Bieta's formula, okay? When you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, Bieta's formula is what? Sum of two roots, because we get the right two roots there. Sum of root should be negative b over a. Product of the root is c over a. This is Bieta's formula in quadratic. Okay. Also, you can divide by a, x squared plus b over a x plus c over a. This one is what? Sum of the root. This one is the product of the root. Sum of root is what? Minus 5 over here, right? Okay. Instead of this one, okay? So negative b over, I'm going to this one. Okay. This one equals negative 5. Okay, you this one, okay? To avoid the convenience, just right. Sum of root is a negative b over a, okay? All right. So negative b is what? Negative, negative 5 over a is 1, okay? 5 is the answer. Okay, we have a student salaries. Scatter plot shows the salary and hours of a 12 student in the library, okay? So we have a line of SP there. That is a linear, right? We pass through the origin over here. So according to the line of SP, which of the following bet approximate average salary, okay, for 12 students? Because on the line over here, they are all, we use the okay, point on this line, okay? There is no intersection over here. We better do this one. Eight hours, they charge the one. They paid about one forty dollars, okay. So one hour, one forty over eight, isn't it? So one forty over eight. How much is this one? One forty over eight. You can use sixty. Yeah, seventeen point five dollars. Oh, this is the best answer. Okay, close this the numbers. And number 15, based on information about a student work 20 hours, if it is 20 hours over here, so we have to use the line of best fit. This slope is 17.5, we, we did already, okay? 17.5, and pass through the origin. The value of y, that's the salary, salary equals what? 17.5 and the hours x. I'm going to use the x, okay? This is a direct variation, okay? All right. So 20 hours times 20 over here. That's the answer, okay? 17.5 times 20 is 350, okay? That is the answer of number 15. All right, number 16. You have a function of your degree 4 polynomial functions, and uh, you have another line, y equals negative 3. How many points of intersection with the function of here? So where is this line? Here, 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 or here. Oh, that, this is negative certain, not below this line, okay? Okay, so where is it? This one or this one? Now you better find at this point. When x equal to zero, that is a negative four here, right? So negative there should be, looks like this. Okay, here negative three is okay. So we have right two point of intersection, okay? Two point of intersection. Two is the answer. 
Uh, number 17, f of x is related with g of x. Maybe you can express it, f of x. This was substitute of here. Square root 3x minus 2 and minus k. That's fine. But when x is 2, y equals negative 3. Put this number x is 2 there. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 is what? Square root 4 and minus k equals negative 3, okay? So this is 2 minus k equals negative 3. k equals how much? Plus 3 plus 3 is 5, okay? That's the answer. Alright, number 18. So we have a water pipe. Inside is empty, okay? The dimension is still, uh, the height is 10 inches and thickness, this one thickness of here, inches. The volume of figure is 800 pi cubic inches. What is the volume of here? This area times height. What is this area? R plus 4 is what? The largest uh, circle, right? Area. Okay, radius. So R plus 4 squared, that is pi squared, okay? That is the area of this one. But inside is a pi r square, right? Minus pi r square. Take them out. After that, when you multiply by 10, that's the value. Okay, that is equals to 800 pi, isn't it? So you can say 1 zero is out. Pi is out. That is equals to 80. Okay, you have to solve this one. So r plus 4 square is r square plus 8r and plus 16, another r square, that is equals to 80, minus 80 equals 0. You can solve this way, okay? 80, because the r square is cancelled out, okay? So 8r, 8r equals negative 16, negative 16 is 64, okay? So when you divide by 8, it's going to be 8 is the answer, okay? That is the radius of r. Okay, inside the inner circle. All right, number 19. G square of x and the 7 g of x is a plus 15. F2 is a 3. Okay, put this number 2 there. 2. The g, of g square of 2 and minus 7 g of 2 plus 15. Okay, that is equals to 3. Okay, so minus 3 equals 0. It's going to be 12, isn't it? Plus 12. Now you can factor this one, okay? So 1, g over 2, minus 3. The other one is g over 2, and minus 4. That is equal to 0, okay? This looks like it's x squared minus 7x plus 12. Okay, when x equals what? g over 2. So we have the g over 2 over here, 2 values. g over 2 can be 3 or 4 over here, okay? So you can have, okay, you have right two answers there, okay? Uh, this is number 20. So y equal x squared minus 8x plus 16. So we're going to find, okay, uh, the area of this rectangle, O, P, Q, R, this area. How can you find this area? We need to find, right, this length and the other length. This length is a y-intercept. So when x equals 0, y is 16, that is length of O, P. What is the length of this one? Okay, put this number equals 16, right? Okay, when you have write the y is 16, what is the x? Cancel it out. x squared minus 8x equals 0. Back to this one. x times x minus 8 equals 0. So this is 1, 0 here, okay? And the other one is what? 8, is it? So this length is 8. This is 16. 16 times 8 is the area of this OPQR, okay? 128 is the answer. Okay, we are done section three, okay? So I'll see you in next video, okay? For